I am told that James Patterson is the best-selling author in the world. I am told that James Patterson outsells Stephen King, John Grisham, Dan Brown, and Tom Clancy combined. That's quite a lineup. That's a lot of sales. And he writes a lot of books. I think he's more prolific than Joyce Carol Oates or Isaac Asimov, both of whom could churn it out. I heard on the internet in an interview with James Patterson that he works on 30 books at one time. 30. I went to the library to see if they had any of his books. This is the branch library just down the street. I checked the mystery section. There were entire shelves of books by James Patterson. I checked where they put out the new releases. Where other authors have one new book, or none, James Patterson once again had shelves of books. I counted 11 new books, with multiple copies of each book. I could see from the covers that he is not writing these books by himself. He's got help, at least five different people who are listed as co-authors, whatever that means. I decided that I'd better read a book by James Patterson and see what all the fuss is about. I went back to the older books when he was writing them by himself. I could see that he has written a number of series, each featuring a protagonist hero, and judging by the number of books, the main one is a series led by Alex Cross, who is either a cop, an FBI agent, or a psychiatrist, depending on which book you read. Among the many choices, I picked one named Cross. As a main character in a series, Alex Cross is in the firm tradition of Tarzan, Sherlock Holmes, Perry Mason, the Hardy Boys, and Nancy Drew. He is pitted against formidable adversaries, in this book a psychotic murderer known as The Butcher, a man whose father was a butcher and who abused him, sexually molested him, until he killed his father and butchered him and fed him piece by piece to the fish and thus became a contract killer known as The Butcher. Alex Cross is on his trail for a series of rapes and murders, and also because he believes that The Butcher is the person who shot and killed his beloved wife. So Alex Cross has plenty of incentive. But it's not money. No money ever changes hands. Presumably, when he's a cop or a federal agent, he has a salary, and when he's working as a psychiatrist, his patients pay, but that's never mentioned. You couldn't pay him to do this. It's his mission. The book zips along. The chapters are as long as chocolate bars, and sometimes shorter, like M&Ms or gumdrops. The book is 393 pages long, and there were 122 chapters, plus a prologue. James Patterson also writes, or co-writes, young adult novels. Here, the subject matter is strictly adult, mainly in the person of the butcher, who is evil with a grin on its face, a cheerful devil who acts with no conscience, no hesitation, and great skill. The writing is plain, almost childish, as if Dr. Zeus had a bad dream and the green eggs and ham turned to pools of blood and brain splatter. The author is also fond of employing italics for emphasis, so that no one could possibly miss his point. So what is the great attraction? What sets James Patterson apart and makes him the best-selling author in the world? My guess is gore. People must find it fascinating to witness vicariously one person threatening, mutilating, raping, murdering another. In the course of the nibble-sized chapters, about every fourth one is packed with gore. It's not lurid gore. It's a calm, clinical, matter-of-fact gore. As sex fills a pornographic novel, so gore suffuses the work of James Patterson. His heroes steadfastly confront it, his villains create it, almost tenderly. In this book, Cross, when the story seemed to be in danger of slipping into tranquility, one of the characters was nearly stabbed to death by a crazed junkie. 
It had little to do with the narrative, but the pace of the book demanded more blood. Music and video games are frequently blamed for violent behavior, people acting out. I wonder if anyone has ever cited best-selling James Patterson as a source for depravity. The book describes the clash of ethical universes, the light and the dark. The story is told by alternating first person, Alex Cross, with third person omniscient, usually following the activities of the Butcher. Alex Cross is also called the Dragon Slayer, the knight who must eliminate the monsters in this world. He is, besides being a keen investigator and student of the criminal mind, a perfectly devoted father, a great all-around fellow, known to one of his partners as Sugar, and he is, in my opinion, a nauseating goody two-shoes. By the end of the book, I was rooting for the butcher. Although blood, killing, and dismemberment permeate the book, most of it is suggested and takes place off the page, and is later reported. Even the climactic scene, the final confrontation of our hero and the butcher, is broken off and takes place without the reader's direct witness, something I find odd and unsatisfying. Come on, James! I waited 390 pages for this. Don't be shy. Don't be coy. Don't cut away. But he does, possibly not wanting to offend his gentle readers, who know what's going on anyway, and once you set up an appetite for slaughter, with justice mopping up on the side, it's like candy or cocaine. It's not good for you, but you can't get enough. Demand and supply. That's the James Patterson way.